Hey everybody, welcome to my Realistic PC channel. I'm sure there are many folks out there with an old Dell desktop just laying around collecting dust. This is what I did to mine to make it better than new. Alright, there you see my Dell Asperian 3650. Made in 2014 or 15, we're pushing 5-6 years old here in 2020 and it is running as slow as molasses. No matter how many disc fragmenters you do and all the clearing of the caches and all that kind of realistic fun stuff that doesn't seem to work, it is time to replace that mechanical hard drive with an SSD, a solid state drive. So I do have a one terabyte hard drive in there. This is just a 250 gigabyte drive. It's gonna be made for just a light workstation, surfing the web, watching YouTube, watching Netflix, maybe doing light word processing, and that's about it. But first, before we do that, let's see how long it takes to boot this damn thing so that we can get a before and after. All right, I only have two hands, so we're gonna press on and hit start. We'll see how long it takes to get to the Chrome tab. It's thinking, it's trying to open up that tab. Come on, baby. Come on, open up. A little bit more, and there it is. I'm gonna stop it. So approximately 52 seconds. You know, not bad, but not great. But here, watch when I go to this uh, search bar right there. Click on it, and then you can see it's taken sweet old time for it to load up there. Let's go to the photos. You can see it's asking the hard drive, where are my photos? The hard drive's going, well, let me look around a little bit. I'll get back to you. I'll find them. How about I mail them to you? Or do you need them today? No, I think I do need them today. Can you look a little bit faster? Oh, oh, I found them. They're hidden behind the desk. And there you see, it took quite a while just to open up my photos right there. Let's try something else. Let's go to the Microsoft Store. Click on it. Searching. Actually, that's not too bad. But anyway, you can see it just takes forever. And right now it's actually going pretty quick. But sometimes you have to turn it on and wait for 10 to 15 minutes. So definitely we need to speed this thing up. And let me show you how to do that. Well, first thing we gotta do is take out the old hard drive, which means opening this bad boy up. On this 3650 from Dell, there's just two screws. One at the bottom, one at the top. Take those out really quick. Then you just kind of slide that like that. You turn this around and you have a third screw that's right here. We'll undo that. The next step is we gotta take off this front panel. We got these three little clips here. I just kind of put pressure on them. And now you can just kind of pull it open. All right, so there's the hard drive right there. What we're gonna do is unplug the SATA, unplug the power, take out the hard drive right here. Okay, so this hard drive is out and it's actually a 7200 RPM, which is what I have in my brand new 2700 X rig. So We'll hold on to that because that has all our pictures on it and documents that we had this old computer. Before you do this, make sure you transfer all your pictures, documents, important stuff over to either a thumb drive or an external hard drive. So now we have to find a place for this SSD from Western Digital. All right, so now we have our hard drive right here, our brand new SSD, and we're gonna plug it in. Power and the SATA right there, hopefully that comes up and when you look at the plugs it should be pretty self-explanatory but in this old Dell case I do not see where I can attach an SSD like this so I'm going to improvise I'm just going to use some Gorilla Tape Oh, 
just like that. And there it is. Now we're just going to close it up. Putting the actual physical hard drive into the computer, you know, it's not too tough, but now we have to put a fresh install of Windows 10 on it. So let me show you how to do that really quick. All right, first you need a thumb drive to download Windows 10. The download's about four gigabytes. So this is an eight gigabyte hard drive. I bought this off of Amazon for like five bucks. So just make sure you have one of these. And now you wanna to go to Microsoft's website. I'll leave a link in the description so you can just click on it. But basically there is a download tool that you'll need to click on. This right here. Okay, and what you're gonna do, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, just follow the prompts. It will download onto your USB drive, and then we're gonna transfer that download over to the computer that we were just working on. All right, it takes a good half hour to install Windows, download some extra updates, and I downloaded Chrome and you know played around with it, make sure everything was, was good to go. So afford yourself at least a good half hour to do that. But now, let's see if it really works. I think we booted at 52, 50 to 52 seconds with the old mechanical hard drive. Let's see if we can do better. All right. Again, filming with one hand and that leaves one hand free. Let's do this. Power on, hit start. Again, I want to try and open a Chrome tab up. Click that. Oh, I have to enter my password. And I'm there. So, it stopped. Let's just go ahead and say it took about 30 seconds. So a significant reduction in time, at least a good 20 seconds. Probably more if I didn't have my hands full, I can type in my password a little bit quicker. But here, let's go back down to this search bar, click on it, and it populates a lot faster. Again, when I went to photos, let's try that. Let's see how long that takes. It's, it's there. I mean, it's just almost instantaneous where before we had to wait, what, 15 seconds for it to pop up? So I think with installing this new hard drive, an SSD, it, it has brought new life to this old computer. I know there are many other ways that uh, you could probably make a computer faster for some RAM, better hardware, whatever, or you know, a better CPU. But anyway, upgrading to a $40 SSD could save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars from purchasing a new one. So this computer is much more responsive than it used to be. I'm glad I spent the 40 bucks, upgraded this, now my family members can use this for some light workstation duties, watching YouTube videos, watching Netflix, doing whatever they do, and I don't have to throw it away. If you found this video at all helpful or useful, make sure to give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye, folks.